Well, uh, hello, uh, St. John's. Uh, here we are facing another lockdown. And um, I wanted to just to share a few words of encouragement for us. I don't know how we're feeling. Uh, it might be that you feel a bit nonplussed about another lockdown. It may be that you're feeling frustrated that your plans are being thwarted. It might be you're feeling angry at the government or worried about COVID and how quickly it's spreading and what it's going to do to the uh, NHS. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll all be feeling different things uh, uh, at the moment. And uh, it is a bit depressing going back into another lockdown, isn't it? It is difficult. Um, and we're not going to be able to meet as a church um, for the next uh, period of time. Um, we, um, we won't be able to meet on Sundays, have services, we'll have to go back onto Zoom. It's going to be a tricky time, and this time may last for a good while. The government has said a month, but it may well be longer than that. And uh, so th this is not going to be uh, a great time. It's going to be a difficult time. How can we cope? How can we face it? Uh, two things. Firstly, let's look to the past. Look to the past. God's people have come through lots of very difficult times. Uh, Israel was in Egypt for 450 years. They wandered in the desert for 40 years. They were in exile in Babylon for 70 years. Uh, we've been facing this for seven months. Uh, God will keep us. He's kept his people in Egypt. He's kept them in the desert. He's kept them in Babylon. He will keep us. He will preserve us. And look back um, uh, over the history of the church. God's people have gone through loads of terrible things, wars, plagues far worse than, than anything that we are facing, times of great suffering. And God has kept them. The church is still here. Uh, we will survive by God's grace. We will keep going. Uh, God will keep us. And we've, we've already come through a lockdown already, haven't we? Uh, God kept us. The church is still here. You're still here. Uh, we survived through all the difficulties. God will keep us. He has done it in the past. And so we can be sure that he'll do it in the future. And so that brings us on to the next point. Look to the future. Look uh, to uh, what is coming. Uh, we know that uh, the darkness cannot overcome the light. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness does not overcome it, it says in John chapter 1. The light is stronger than the darkness. The shadow will pass. The uh, trial will pass. God is the God of the future. And he has given us great promises for our future. Let me just read a a verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, which um, is a great encouragement to me personally. It's chapter 9, verse 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. What a great promise for us uh, in these weeks ahead. God is able to bless you abundantly. It doesn't feel like blessing, does it? But God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things, in all circumstances, in all situations, at all times when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling happy, when you're feeling thankless, when you're feeling thankful, having all that you need, God will give us all that we need. You will abound in every good work. God will give you everything that you need to serve him and to love people. So you can look to the past with confidence. You can look to the future with confidence. And then just kind of very practically, let me just suggest that now, this evening, you pray that you commit these weeks this next month into God's hands, that you ask him to be at work, that you ask him to sustain you. You don't have all the answers. You don't know what's coming around the corner. You don't know how uh, you'll, uh, you'll be. You don't know what different things you'll be facing or the people around you will be facing. But pray and commit this time into God's hands and ask for him to make that promise in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, very real in your life, that he will bless you abundantly in this time. Well, St. John's, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and uh, hopefully that will be a great encouragement uh, for us as we get to see one another. But um, let's keep doing these things in the weeks ahead. Look to the past, look to the future and pray. God bless.